Hi everyone, I'm Navita and I'm a developer advocate at Meta. This Build with Meta Llama video series demonstrates the capabilities and practical applications of Llama models for developers like you so that you can leverage the benefits of what Llama has to offer and incorporate it into your own applications. In this video, we'll go over some of the various other ways in which you can host or run Meta Llama models and provide you with all the resources that can help you get started. So let's dive in. Apart from running the models locally, one of the most common ways to run Meta Llama models is to run them on the cloud. We already saw an example of running it using a service called Hugging Face in one of our previous videos. Now let's take a look at some of the other services that we can use to host or run Llama models such as AWS, Kaggle, Vertex AI, among others. AWS provides multiple ways to host your Llama models, such as SageMaker Jumpstart, Bedrock, etc. Bedrock is a fully managed service that quickly and easily lets you build generative AI-powered experiences. To use Meta Llama with Bedrock, check out their website that goes over how to integrate and use Meta Llama models in your applications. You can also use AWS through SageMaker Jumpstart, which enables you to build train and deploy ML models from a broad range of publicly available foundational models and deploy them on SageMaker instances for model training and deployments. Learn more about how to use Metal Llama on SageMaker on their website. Another way to run Metal Llama models is on Kaggle, an online community of data scientists and machine learning engineers. We have collaborated with Kaggle to fully integrate Llama models, offering pre-trained chat and code Llama in various sizes. To download Llama model artifacts from Kaggle, you must first request a download from the Meta AI website using the same email address as your Kaggle account. After doing so, you can request access to the Llama models you'd like to try. You can also use GCP or Google Cloud Platform to run Meta Llama models. GCP is a suite of cloud computing services that provides computing resources as well as virtual machines. Building on top of GCP services, Model Garden on Vertex AI offers infrastructure to jumpstart your ML projects with a single place to discover, customize, and deploy a wide range of models. We have collaborated with Vertex AI from Google Cloud to fully integrate Meta Llama, offering pre-trained chat and Meta Code Llama in various sizes. Check out how to fine-tune and deploy Meta's Llama models on Vertex AI by visiting the website. Please note that you may need to request proper GPU computing quota as a prerequisite. You can also run Llama models using hosting providers such as OpenAI, TogetherAI, AnyScale, Replicate, Grok, etc. Our team has worked on a step-by-step -step example to showcase how to run Llama on externally hosted providers. These examples can be found on our Llama Recipes GitHub repo, which goes over the process of setting up and running inference for Llama models on some of these externally hosted providers. Many enterprise customers prefer to deploy Llama models on-premise and on their own servers. One way to deploy and run Llama models in this manner is by using TorchServe. TorchServe is an easy-to-use tool for deploying PyTorch models at scale. It is cloud and environment agnostic and supports features such as multimodal serving, logging, metrics, and the creation of RESTful endpoints for application integration. To learn more about how TorchServe works with setup, quick start, and examples, check out the GitHub repo. Another way to deploy Llama models on-premise is by using Virtual Large Language Model or VLLM and Text Generation Interface or TGI, two leading open source tools to deploy and serve LLMs. A detailed step-by-step -step tutorial can be found on our Llama Recipes repo that showcases how to use Llama models with VLLM and Hugging Face TGI and how to create VLLM and TGI hosted Llama instances with LangChain a language model integration framework for creation of applications using large language models. A link to these examples can also be found in the description box below. You can find various demos and examples that can provide you with guidance 
and that you can use as references to get started with Llama models on our Llama Recipes GitHub repo. Here you'll find several examples for inference, fine-tuning, and running on various API providers, and many more for you to try Llama for your own use cases. Learn more about Llama 3 and how to get started by checking out our Getting to Know Llama notebook that you can find in our Llama Recipes GitHub repo. Here you'll find a guided tour of Llama 3 with comparison with Llama 2, including understanding different Llama 3 models, how and where to access them, generative AI and chatbot architectures, prompt engineering, RAG or retrieval augmented generation, fine-tuning, and more. You'll find all this implemented with the starter code that you can take and adapt to use in your own Llama 3 projects. To learn more about our Llama 3 models, check out our announcement blog where you can find details about how the model works, performance, and benchmarks, learn more about trust and safety of our models, and find various other resources to get you started. Get the model source from our Llama 3 GitHub repo where you can learn how the model works along with a minimal example of how to load Llama 3 models and run inference. Here, you will also find steps to download, set up the model, and examples for running the text completion and chat examples. Dive deeper and learn more about the model in the model card, which goes over the model architecture, intended use, hardware and software requirements, training data, results, and licenses. Check out our new Meta AI built with Llama 3 technology, which is now one of the world's leading AI systems that can boost your intelligence and lighten your load, helping you learn, get things done, create content, and connect to make the most out of every moment. You can use Meta AI on Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger, and the web to get things done, learn, create, and connect with the things that matter to you. To learn more about the latest updates and releases on Llama models, check out our website, where you can learn more about the latest models, as well as find resources to help learn more about how these models work and how you can use them in your own applications. Check out our Getting Started guide that provides information and resources to help you set up Llama models, including how to access the model, prompt formats for Llama 3 models, hosting, how-to guides, and integration guides, as well as resources that you can refer to to get started with your projects. Take a look at some of our latest blogs that discuss new announcements, latest on the Llama ecosystem, and learn more about our responsible approach to Meta AI and Meta Llama 3. Check out the community resources on our website to help you get started with using Meta Llama models, learn about performance and latency, fine tuning, and more. Dive deeper into prompt engineering, learning best practices for prompting Meta Llama models, and interacting with Meta Llama Chat, Code Llama, and Llama Guard models in our short course on prompt engineering with Llama 2 on deeplearning.ai recently updated to showcase both Llama 2 as well as Llama 3 models. Check out our community stories that go over the interesting use cases of Llama models in various fields such as in business, healthcare, gaming, pharmaceutical, and more. Learn more about the Llama ecosystem, building product experiences with Llama as well as use cases that showcase how industry pioneers have adopted Llama models to build and grow innovative products for users across their platforms by checking out our AI sessions in Connect 2023. Also check out our responsible use guide that provides developers with recommended best practices and considerations for building products powered by LLMs. If you prefer to consume information in a written format, we've also published a blog that will go over all the things we've discussed in this video and more. The supporting blog can be found on our website and will be linked in the description box below. So here we are. In our Build with Meta Llama videos, we did a quick walkthrough of some of the various ways in which you can run Llama models. We looked at running the Llama models on Linux by getting the weights and running them locally. We saw how to run Llama models using the Hugging Face APIs with a step-by-step -step tutorial to help you follow along. Next, we went over steps on how to run Llama models on a Mac using Ollama. 
We also discussed some of the many other ways in which the models can be hosted using cloud services such as AWS, Kaggle, etc. and served using TorchServe, VLLM and TGI among others. Finally, we went over the resources and demos available to you to help you get started with using and integrating Llama models into your own use cases. Links to all the previous videos can also be found in the description box below. We hope you found these videos helpful to provide you with insights and resources that you may need to get started with using Llama models. We at Meta strongly believe in an open approach to AI development, democratizing access through an open platform and providing you with the AI models, tools, and resources to give you the power to shape the next wave of innovation. We can't wait to see what you build and we look forward to your feedback. Thank you and see you in the next set of Build with Metalama videos.